Ready? Recording now. Tonight we're recording from the open ocean in the Western Pacific. For those of you who are returning, we're trying to get an updated status on the mother and baby sperm whale that we've been following on our stream. We're recording tonight's stream because we have reports that the mother whale is distressed. And we don't want to surprise viewers if these reports are true. After discovering a whale fall in our research zone, we suspected that the whales may have been exposed to a toxin or pathogen in our current... Investigating. Samples from several females in the pod tested positive for a toxin that we believe resulted from exposure to a harmful algal bloom near the coastal area just outside our research zone. As I approach the whales, I'm going to turn off my mic, but keep on my video feed. <gasps> no. The whales that we tested showed low level of this toxin, so we do not believe they will suffer from long-term effects. However, we expect that the mother whale was exposed to a higher level and was also more vulnerable because of her pregnancy. Stay close to your aunties. They know the way. As far as we know, those were the only two whales affected by the bloom. With all of Andrea's technology genius, he still hasn't invented a way to be in two places at the same time. Before my flight home landed, Irina and Andre had already confirmed the location of the harmful bloom. I stayed close to home with Nana until she passed the next year. Ren moved in with me to save money while she finished school, which was great. Mostly. It was Ren's idea to keep the live stream going remotely using one of Andre's drones. 
but it was my fabulous idea to have Ren join the stream to choose the questions from the audience. She is definitely a hit. I can't lie. It's great to be diving again. While I was away, the baby became an auntie. She likes it. She still buzzes me when I play my coda sounds, so that is still a mystery. But I swear, we understand each other completely. <laughs> 